Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Graf Lambsdorff. The next speaker, Jill Evans, you have the floor. Thank you very much. President Barroso, I am speaking on behalf of the European Free Alliance members in the Green IFA group. We believe in equality for all people in Europe. We support independence for the nations and the regions of Europe, which are not currently member states in their own right, but which aspire to be. And we campaign for equal rights for speakers of all languages, whether they are official EU languages or co-official languages, and whether they are spoken by the majority or the minority in a member state. You talk in your guidelines, and you talked again today, about the need to create a feeling of connection between the EU and its citizens. But this can never be achieved until the EU recognises the real nations and peoples and subsidiarity operates at all levels and not just between the EU and the member state government. If the European Union is to effectively support us through the economic crisis, lead the way as it must in fighting climate change, protect public services, defend human rights and contribute to international peace and disarmament, then it needs the input of all of us, and that includes Wales, Scotland, Catalonia, Corsica, Flanders and many others. Across Europe at this moment, there are discussions, consultations and referenda taking place, and I'm not talking about Lisbon, but about proposals for constitutional change and for greater autonomy in these countries. I regret that you have not acknowledged or recognised or addressed these current developments in your guidelines and you have not brought forward proposals for greater involvement of countries and regions which have legislative powers in EU decision making, something which we in IFA see as crucial. And I would ask you again to agree to do that. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Ms Evans. Timothy Kirkup is next. Uh, Presidents, one of the most corrosive criticisms of the EU is that it's concerned more with its own internal systems than it is in demonstrating leadership on global issues or acting in a way that adds value to 